2017 Tax Act, which is commonly referred to as the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, created so-called qualified opportunity zones, which are low-income census tracts that have been uh, nominated by the states and designated by the U.S. Treasury to have this special status. And that the act also conferred special tax benefits on certain kinds of investments in these zones to uh, ignite uh, some economic development. We'll walk through a simple example that I think will uh, highlight the, the benefits of the program. So we have someone named A. Uh, she sells property on January 1st of 2019, and she has a $100 capital gain from the sale of that property. Perhaps it was stock or some other sort of investment. Um, and then A immediately turns around, takes that $100, and invests it into a qualified opportunity fund. On January 1st, 2024, which is five years after A made her investment, the amount of gain, <clears throat> the amount of gain she'll have to pay tax on is reduced from $100 to $90. That is 10% of the gain deferred. On January 1st of 2026, that is seven years after she makes her investment, the gain is further reduced from 90 to 85. So we've had an overall reduction from 100 to 85. Now, once again, uh, remind you that this 5% this benefit is going to effectively burn off after December 31st, 2019. Um, on December 31st, 2026, A has to pay tax finally, but only on $85 of gain and has gotten seven years of deferral, so that's pretty good. Um, and then on January 1st, 2029, uh, a date 10 years after A made her investment in the Qualified Opportunity Fund, she sells her Qualified Opportunity Fund interest for $300. So A has enjoyed $200 of appreciation in her investment from 100 to 300, and that $200 completely escapes federal income tax. Um, so it's, it's quite the home run benefit uh, for a good investment.